some Sonic creators be like, oh, look at the game, Sonic Frontiers. Oh, look, it just looks so amazing. Oh, look at the game, it's so good. A couple of days later, they buy the game and then play it. And for like five days later, they'll say, oh, this game was not uh, up to expectation. I thought the game would be so good. Oh my gosh, I wish Sega has done more for the game. Oh man, I can't believe the game is so bad. Just like they did for Sonic Origins. People were saying the game was bad and all, all of this stuff about it. But when Sonic Frontiers come out, don't be surprised five days later, people will be saying, oh, Sonic Frontiers will be the, the worst game ever. Um, oh, I feel like Sega shouldn't have done more for the game. Yeah, I, I, I see I see it coming. I just know the Sonic community will be like basically act act like that all the time. Like just I I just know it's gonna be coming soon. It's not even that, but I just feel like Sega is just rushing games or like overhyping games and things that oh people would still buy the game even if it's not as good. I feel like the problem with the games are the glitches and the and the way they program the game that it would be very hard for people to play. You know, like Sonic Origins, I didn't have a problem with it personally, but some people had some glitches, glitch problems and crashes, you know. We we, we got to be like honest with each other like if if uh Sega messes up on this, just don't be surprised and like you can just for for example, Sonic 06, people were like uh saying the game was bad, but over time people were saying, "Oh, the game wasn't that bad, even if it had, it had bugs and glitches." Uh, I don't really mind the game itself, but I don't know. But for Sonic Frontiers, I just feel I just have a bad feeling about it. You know, like if anything bad happens, I just won't be surprised. But like other people will be surprised, I guess so. Because, oh, look, the game looks so cool. Like the trailers, like look at the trailers. The trailers are like amazing and all that. But when you play the game itself, you, you just tell uh, it says a different story. Because like it's been happening for like a... Like triple A games be like uh releasing with very big glitches and uh and end up and end up uh end up uh like uh basically people want to, uh want to refund it and all that but overall uh I see that uh I just ho I just hope that uh the developers have the time and actually do their work perfectly instead of Sega telling them what to do, you know. I just hope I just hope it goes well for for the uh the community and and then uh the developers because developers actually like legit put the work in the game and then actually want the game to do good but I feel like Sega is just blocking them like not allowing them to put extra stuff or or just scrapping things up and then uh posting the game to publish it and then the game would end up doing way worse than expected you know. Uh, just, just don't be surprised if that even happened because it, that that just happened to a developer that worked on Sonic Origins, and then he he came out and said, uh, "Oh yeah, Sega didn't really allow us to recheck the game, and they just published it, and then people were complaining about it." You know, uh, just, just, just I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Just, just, just be honest, and and then go ahead and uh, if you want a game, you can go and buy it. But if you don't want the game, you could just save your money. But just take information with a grain of salt and just don't be overhyped with Sonic games like as much. Like, for example, Sonic Origins. I mean, the game was fine, but uh, I guess people just didn't like it, you know. I just, just my, that's my opinion. Tell me in the uh, comments below and uh, hopefully you guys like the video.